Apple Maps has improved a lot and if you like to learn to use it, you are at the right place. So let's get into it. Opening it the first time asks a few questions, nothing major but allow those to get the most out of it. This is the main interface, you can zoom in and out. This is where you choose the map style. We have the driving mode, public transport and satellite view. You can open the same menu by clicking the top right button. The driving mode shows the traffic and reported problems on the road. Yellow means medium traffic and red means heavy traffic. This is the street view icon. Tap in here will let you explore this area. It's a nice additional feature to see entrances and parking and get a general idea of the location. Click the map to move in that direction. Swipe up from the bottom to add your home and work addresses. You can also share your location, mark it or report an issue. This more lets you find specific stores. Tap in on one lists them all. You can then filter the choices with the displayed options. Your account menu has your favorites, guides and preferences. Here you can adjust options according to your needs. Avoiding tolls, highways, hills and specific transport options can be adjusted here. You'll find more options in map settings. Here you can activate Siri while driving, ask Apple Maps to remember your parking location, enable air quality index, weather conditions etc. Guides is where you plan your vacation trips. To add one, tap on it and give it a name. Then you can search for a location and add it to this guide. Apple Maps has brought an offline maps option. It's available on iOS 17. To download maps, tap your profile icon. Then tap offline maps. Search for city and click this download button. Once downloaded, you can go to the same area and enable this only use offline maps option. You won't get the traffic updates, but it will get you from here to there. When you search for a business with multiple locations, you'll see a list. Tap in on one will show the location, driving, call and website options. We also have ratings, good to know, also at that location, opening hours and address. Lastly, if you have any photos of that business, you can upload them here. Tap in on drive will show the trip overview. You can add a stop here or while driving. Let's add one now. When a stop is added, you can sort your trip by adjusting the places. As you do, you'll see an updated interface on the map. Next we'll see how to use maps for public transport. We'll search for location. To see public transport, click here and change this drive to public transport. You'll see all the options. The fastest is the top one. We can see that it says to walk for 14 minutes, then take a 300G bus and walk for 4 minutes after. The dotted line is your walking path and the blue is the bus route. You can insert the leave and arrival times by clicking this now button. This will help you get to the location at the right time. Let's change it back to driving. You'll see all the possible routes with their time. You can tap on one to select it. I'll choose this main road. On the navigation interface, you'll find arrival time, minutes and distance. You can mute the voice or enable alerts only here. This is the trip's overview. The bottom menu lets you share ETA, add a stop and report any problems on the road. You can ask Siri while driving for information, but it's not fully useful. Asking about the ETA and the trip distance does not work. Apple Maps does not warn about any speed cameras like Waze and Google Maps. However, its voice guidance is helpful. It tells you how many lanes there are on the traffic light and which lane to stay in. The app also shows the speed limit on main roads, but it doesn't show the vehicle's speed. If you go on to a different route, the maps will readjust. Lastly, when you arrive, you can end the trip and rate it. The address will be saved on your recent trip list. Well, it appears that we are at the end of our journey. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you need any help below. I'll catch you later. Take care.